So what is a quality? My definition of quality would go along the lines of the even dispersal of power within a country or structure that allows people to progress their lives for a level of betterment and benefit. Yeah, equality, meaning freedom. And I think that's the main thing that equality is, and what it really breaks down to, when you have freedom for everybody, you have equality. And what is freedom, you may be wondering, you may be asking. I think equality is, or freedom, is freedom for everybody. That when a person has freedom for everybody, that means there's freedom for blacks, freedom for whites, freedom for Mexicans, freedom for gays, for gays, for lesbians, for women, for males, for drug users, for drinkers, for tobacco smokers. I think true freedom is freedom for everybody. But a lot of people think freedom means that I, a lot of people want freedom to mean I want my freedom from that person having their freedoms. I want my freedom from that person having their freedoms. And I repeated it because of the fact that I, I want you guys to get it. That a lot of people pretty much just say that I want the ability to tell that person that they can't have their freedoms. And that is my freedom. That includes my freedom. Which really isn't freedom. It's bigotry, hypocrisy, and stupidity. But... That's kind of what a lot of people come about with and try to understand freedom as. But equality is largely connected with freedom. And what is freedom, for for sake of argument? What is it? I think freedom is the ability to be able to live your life and make certain choices within your life that are your choices to make. You know, like Mr. Rep saying, you talk about suicide, so on and so forth, then you think that we should have the right to commit suicide because that's the ultimate act of freedom. For instance, and, and, and I mean, that makes sense. And I guess I, I, I kind of agree with you that we should have a certain thing like that. But, uh, give me one second. Freedom. Oh, yeah, that we have we have the ability to change, progress, and help our lives. That's equality. Freedom is the ability to make certain choices. Equality is the ability to progress and better your life within a certain system. Or to have the equal opportunity to better yourself in a certain system. Now, I'm not saying, and, and just for your example, I'm not saying that Bill Gates and the homeless dude are on the same level by any means, but I am saying that if we want true equality, that homeless dude should have the exact same ability and the same right and the same accessibility to come up with great ideas and do great things like Bill Gates did, to have that same ability. But you know most homeless people don't have that same access to information and to certain to certain places which they can actually show their knowledge. With that, homeless dude that you're talking about is as smart as Bill Gates and has better ideas than Bill Gates. But it, because of the fact these homeless these ideas never get heard. And that's because of the fact that we live in a system that is, doesn't have any certain level of equality. And it does break down to a certain degree what people in America or what a lot of people generally consider valuable. And what is considered valuable in this country is money. It's not people. It's not life. It's not living. It's not having. It's not uplifting poor people. That's not what's considered valuable in our society. What is considered valuable within our society is money. And in fact, within our society, there's a lot of people that have a lot of stuff, and this a lot, and all this a lot of stuff and money, and a lot of this stuff and money could go to helping the poor, healing the sick, and all this other stuff. But so they keep it, and they eventually cause people to starve and die. Now, if a person, a rich person, is Bill Gates, family, what's more, what's worth more, Bill Gates and his family or Bill Gates' stuff? Actually, Bill Gates' stuff at this point in time. But what's worth more to Bill Gates' family? Bill Gates' family. It's not the money, it's not the stuff. But we still value stuff more than we value people, just as an example. And with this system, with this type of mentality that we have in this country, never, true quality can never exist. Because of the fact that we're all so consumed with materialistic bullshit. And as long as we're consumed with materialistic bullshit, we don't have the possibility of coming to a level of true equality or true freedom. Because like I said, true freedom is freedom for everybody. Not the freedom from you. Not the freedom from me saying, I want the freedom for Mr. Repsion not to make videos anymore. That's not freedom. Freedom is saying, I can make videos. I think Mr. Repsion can make videos. I think a feminist can make videos. I think an atheist can make videos. That's true freedom. Freedom for everybody. Just like, you know, I think, you know, a person should be able to do drugs. A person should be able to commit suicide. A woman should be able to make as much money as a man in the workplace. A man should, vice versa. A man should be able to make as much money in the woman, a woman in his workplace, so on and so forth. And there's a whole bunch of other just different understandings and, um, 
understanding that come about, but that's true freedom. And once we have true freedom for everybody, the same ability for everybody to get, succeed and fail, so on and so forth, and even if they do fail, succeed again, that's when we have an, a system with, that has actual quality. We don't have it now, and you're right. And um, I guess I'll try to address the point where you talked about the founding, fa founding father. The founding father pretty much saying that we're not born with any special right over somebody else, you know. It's just that we're all born the same. You know, we're all born helpless is what pretty much the founding fathers were talking about. You know, each man is created equal, meaning that, you know, not one of us is created to be Superman. You know, not one baby comes out like D is ready to fight, you know. So we're all created equal. And that because we're all created equal, that each man should have that same voice, you know, should have that same ability to talk and communicate about their ideas, about their perspective, and that no one man should just be considered better or royal than any other man just because of happiness of birth. Yeah. So I think that's generally the founding fathers we're talking about. And um, I just this is going to be a random point. It's probably going to confuse some people why I'm putting this point in this video. But I'm just going to put, put this in here. So just give you some food for thought. So just take what I just said, the rest of the video, and just think, okay, that video is something else, and this point is something else. Okay. The point that I'm going to make is that with the difference between men and women, and this is a difference that is... It's kind of hard to understand how we can come to a level of true equality. or well, the reasons it's hard to come to a level of pure true equality because you can have pure true equality with like a white male and a black male to some degree if, if their physical attributes are exactly the same. It's just a color thing. But with male and female, it's different because males are stronger and bigger. And women are meant for nurturing, so on and so forth. So there is a difference. Like... The strongest man versus the strongest woman, the male, will always win because we're built for this. We're born this way. So when it comes down to equality, there is a certain level of inequality when it comes to genetics. But when it comes to our society, we hopefully can evolve to the point to which we don't need to look at pure genetics for a reason to understand each other as equal. So that's my perspective on equality. Mr. Repsion, I think it's I think it's generally tied in with freedom, true freedoms. And if we have true freedoms within this country, or if we have true freedoms within the world, then we'll, we'll ha we will have true equality, the ability for that homeless dude to succeed or anybody else to succeed. If a person has a mother who's addicted to crack, so on and so forth, that that kid still has the same chance to go to the same good schools and same opportunities as a kid that goes to a rich high school that you know pumps out with tons and tons of college students. But that's not what we have in this country right now. We don't have that. We don't have equality in this country. We have inequality in this country. So, yes, sir. That's my video. That's my reply to Mr. Repsion. Have a good one, Mr. Repsion. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, and, yeah, you have a good one. Deuces. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, peace.